Hey you two, the Dark Magician of Team Sorcerers here. And welcome back to What If Wednesday. And um, this time I'm going to talk about what would happen if Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, my favourite pendulum monster, was my favourite card instead of Dark Magician. Well, I guess for a start I would really just get into pendulum summoning um, even more so than when I actually did um, and um, I guess uh, my usual signature decks would sort of take a back seat um, yeah, and I'd be getting the starter deck um, actually this would have been a great way to celebrate 10 years since Pendulums came into the game, or at least it would have been at the time of recording this, uh, roundabout. Um, but, yeah, um, I would just really admire Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. I'd pick up maybe one or two of the starter deck that came out that gave us Stargazer and Time Gazer. Um, I'd be a bit gutted that all those Pendulum Dragon wouldn't be in the starter deck, and um, and I'd be desperately trying to get it from um, a Duelist Alliance box packs. Um, in fact, I'd probably buy a whole box or a whole case just to try and get it. Um, well, at the time it was only out as a secret and an ulti, so it wouldn't have been easy to get. Um, and of course I would have got hold of three of it, and, um, and yeah, I'd just basically be putting together um, you know, a mixture of New Year's cards really, Odd Eyes Monsters, Magician Pendulum Monsters and Performer Pals. Um, even though there wouldn't be a lot to work with to start off with, but I'd try and make it work. Um, and I'd sort of do what Weathers 5 did with his original pendulum deck. In fact, at that point, we'd be um, <laughs> pendulum rivals, I guess. Um, and yeah, um, this would be um, my new signature deck. Um, I'd still uh, play Dark Magician Elements of Heroes and Rainbow Neos, of course, um, and uh, get support for them over the years, but, um, but my Pendulum deck with uh, All Those Pendulum Dragon would uh, remain the focus. Um, I don't know how well it would work, and I don't know how well I'd do with it in tournaments, but um, but I'd still give it a go anyway. Um, I'd probably uh, do quite well in the Dead Universe Comics Raw Rumbles with this deck. Um, but who knows? Um, and again, I'd just pick up support for Odd Eyes, Pendulum Magicians, and... Uh, Performer pals whenever I could. Um, naturally, the structure deck, um, you know, the pendulum structure deck we got in 2015 would be a big help as well. Um, giving us Joker, Sky Iris, um, really give it a boost. Um, and then I'd quite simply be playing Old Eyes Magician. Um, And I guess technically I would be playing a meta deck, considering um, that that deck just basically, um, well, became meta. Although I don't know um, if it would have seen as much play as the likes of Burning Abyss, Shadows, Cosmo, and Monarchs, and Magispectors back then. Um, 
But one of the things for sure, I would not have played uh, Odd-Eyes Vortex Dragon, considering it's a monster that negates everything, and I hate those cards, and, um... Well, until Odd-Eyes Pendulum Graph Dragon came out, it, that would have still been, uh the only Odd Eyes monster that I hate with a fucking passion. Um, but knowing my luck, people would probably give me shit for not playing it, and you know, it would just be like the same situation with Red Eyes Dark Dragoon in the long run, with people questioning me and antagonising me for not playing Dragoon in my Dark Magician and Red Eyes Black Dragon decks. It just would have been so annoying. Um, um, but, yeah, I still uh, would have just uh, played the deck without Vortex anyway, um, and been like, well, screw what other people think. Um, of course, I'm still not sure how I would have done in tournaments. Um, it also does depend on whether or not I would have um, quit tournaments throughout these occasions, or whether I'd have done really well and um, kept consistently doing well. Um, and then, um, me and Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon would just go through everything together pretty much. Um, oh, and I must also point out that I would still end up playing free in any deck that I run Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon in. Um, oh, um, when Supreme King Zark would come out and the uh, Pendulum Magician monsters that supported Zark came about, um, I'm not sure what I would have done. Um, I guess I still would have got those anyway and uh, played them. Um, but, um, but I still would have gone in more the direction of Odd Eyes rather than the Pendulum Magicians. And, um, you know, even when Legendary Decks 3 came out and gave us some new cards, um, I still would have gone more in the direction of Odd Eyes rather than the Pendulum Magicians, because, well, I wouldn't have wanted to play Pendulum Magician. You know, I didn't want to uh, go that route uh, with Pendulums, um, especially considering Pendulum Magician became one of my most hated decks of all time, considering it does nothing but OTK and use Vortex to just negate my deck. Um, yeah, it was so annoying. Um, uh, but, yeah, ultimately, um, the deck would have just turned into an Odd Eyes deck with Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon being the boss monster yeah. um, and my ace monster and that's how I would have kept it and I would have got any new Odd Eyes support whenever I could maybe I would have even uh, tried to get a case of um, what was it Dimension Force um, that's you know, the set where a Pendulum Graph was the cover card um, well, speaking of Odd Eyes cards, I don't know if I would have played Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon. Um, it just wouldn't have felt right considering what it does. Then again, I did still play um, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon in anything I had that could make rank 7, so I guess gravity wouldn't have been much different um, but I still don't know if I would have played it but I 
definitely would have refused to play Pendulum Graph, um, because that then became the only other on ice card that uh, I hate, because it's a spell negate, um, which can just keep resetting itself in the Pendulum Zone. Um, yeah, it would have been annoying. Um, Um, but yeah, I like to think the deck would have worked amazingly well in the long run without um, a Vortex. Um, I mean, maybe I would have tried to um, put the focus on all the Dimension Dragons, because I did make um, the Dimension Dragon deck back in 2018, because I wanted to have a deck that focused on not only Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, but also Dark Rebellion, Exceeds Dragon, Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, and Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Um, I would have tried it out, and it, um, and it would have worked quite well. Um, in fact, I find that um, with its evolved form, uh, Odd Eyes Dimension Dragon, it does work amazingly well, and um, you know, I really, whenever I play that deck, I just feel like I don't need Vortex Dragon, as, um, well, not every deck has to have a negate, and, you know, negates aren't always needed to win. Um, Although in this timeline, um, I don't know if I would have um, made my Odd Eyes Dimension Dragon deck. Um, I just would have kept as a pure Odd Eyes deck with Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. And like I said, being the boss monster and the ace monster, and that's how I would have kept it. Um, of course, um, one other thing I forgot to mention is that it would have... Um, it would have been hard to adjust um, when Lynx and Master Rule 4 came into the game, but I would have got used to it and just ultimately got the hang of it in the end. Um, and, um, yeah, this deck would have been one of my best ever decks. And, yeah, that is basically what would happen if Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon was my favourite card instead of Dark Magician. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye.